Hello everybody and welcome to my birthday. Well, my channel's birthday anyway. So today my channel turns three. I cannot believe it's been three years. Um, I've got my phone on charge because I'm ridiculous and played a game. Yeah, I've been playing a game. I have got this game called Merge Dragons, I think it's called. You basically have this like dragon land and you merge them and then you play a game and it's just... I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Anyway, yeah, I started the 20th of the 4th, 2016. Um, it's been a bittersweet journey. So I thought, seeing as though today is my channel's birthday, I'm going to do just a chit chat video. I'm not going to be, I was going to like do like a really dramatic glitter look and it was going to be all crazy. But then I thought to myself, I don't really want to be explaining what I'm doing. I just want to put makeup on my face, have a chat with you. And if you like what you see, you can might be able to stay. I'm, I'm basically doing halo eye today. So it's not really um, any different to what I normally do. I'm just using different colours. I just thought it'd be nice just to chat. I just want to sort of talk about why I started, past Becky, you know, getting to this stage, how I feel now and stuff like that. So um, let me get my stuff together and we will crack on. You will see my mirror here. Um, it's the I can't do anything about it. Normally I'm so zoomed in you don't really notice it. I have mentioned this before but um, I need it like practically like kissing my face. Um, so this is the best I can do. Um, I love the fact that it was um, one of my subscribers that I got friends with, um, shot, she sort of said, why don't you try getting one of the Boots mirrors and, you know, having it in front of you so that um, you can do your eye looks without having your mirror in your face. And I said, I've got one, I just can't use it because, like, if I put it down, it's down here, but I'd have to then, like, crouch down and it just doesn't work. Anyway, I then thought to myself, you know, Becky, get a brain. I put it on, well, it's actually a money box. Yeah, it's a princess money box and it's full of all my silver. Because um, when it gets full up, I'm then going to um, empty it and take it to the bank. Anyway, um, that was my little thing there. So, I cannot believe it has been three years. I still remember the first video that I did. I remember, I remember buying my camera before I'd even thought about, like properly doing YouTube, I bought my camera, um, which was daft, but I did, and I remember, like, setting it up, now, I didn't have, um, a tripod or anything, so I literally, like, mounted it, it was really funny, because I spent, like, so much on this camera, but then didn't buy a tripod, I literally mounted it on loads of books and boxes and everything like that just so that I could be seen um, and I remember back then my bed was behind here and I remember sitting on my bed with this camera light mounted on like this um, unit that I had and I remember turning it on and sort of just being really awkward and then turning it off and then turning it on and I must have filmed about 20 videos um, not really any like beauty ones, just like literally me 20 times, maybe even more, just sort of like trying to say, hi, my name's Bex, this is what I'm doing now. And I just couldn't do it until I eventually obviously got up the courage to do it. Um, originally, I started with a blog. And the reason I started with a blog, so it was technically t January 2015 but my first blog post was the 31st of December 2014 um, so technically that's when I published it but really I started January 2015 because it was like literally like 12 hours to the new year anyway um, all my life I've been really insecure about my weight the funny thing is I've never been bullied by my weight I've never had people say anything about my weight um, it's never been something that other people have sort of made me insecure. I just sort of took it on myself, whether that's from seeing my mum dieting, whether that's from just seeing, like, um, other people moan about it. I don't know, but no one's ever said to me, oh, you fat, or anything like that. And I always um, felt insecure. The funny thing is, when I felt in, like, this bad, like, when I was, like, 15, I wasn't even fat. I remember... Um, feeling like I was fat. Compared to like the other girls in my school, I was bigger, but I wasn't fat. And then I went to college 
and that was great and I couldn't go clubbing until I turned 18 and had ID no one had ever let me in not that I advocate underage drinking but I'm just saying I could never actually do that and I remember finally turning 18 and getting my ID well I had my ID I had my provisional license and finally being able to go like out drinking and clubbing and mixing with everyone and I wore a size 10 River Island mini skirt. Now if anyone's familiar with River Island in the UK you know that that's quite a small brand. I think it was size 10, it was either size 10 or 12, I know it was tiny and I wore that and yet I still felt insecure and I still felt fat and I wouldn't talk to um, boys or anything, I just I felt like this horrible mess. Um, but I really wasn't when I look back at the few pictures I do have because I never took pictures, I never took selfies. Um, I didn't even have Instagram until I started this um, sort of blogging YouTube thing. Anyway, fast forward that in my second year of college I got a job at Tesco. I think it was my second year. Or it might be like towards the end of my first year. Tesco was my downfall. I started to put on weight because all I could see was all the buy one get one freeze, the two for what, the, the two for three quid, the, you know, all the deals that you don't really notice, I could see all the time. Even stuff that I didn't even want, but it was an offer. It was a bargain. I had money that was my money that I got every month. Um, and I was really lucky in the fact that my mum never charged me rent. I'm just trying to find my concealers. So my mum never charged me um, rent or anything like that. They're like the worst brows in the world. So where was I? So I never got charged any rent. I was really lucky in that regard. So basically all the money I, I had earning from uh, working at Tesco on the checkouts, I could spend as I wanted to spend it. Um, I didn't have to um, like think about anything other than like my phone bill and getting to and from college. Um, so it was it was crazy for an 18 year old it was like the, you know it was the ideal basically and I started to like I say I started to put on weight I then started to distance myself from going out I started cancelling friends um making excuses because I started to get the bigger I got the more conscious I got out of it and I did start to put on weight then I wasn't like under this illusion I started to wear baggy clothes. Um, I was literally going to um, college in, like, if you think in my first year, I was going in like 10 to 12 um, fitted tops and, you know, like cute things. By the time um, I was halfway through my second year, I was in big baggy uh, men's tops from the sports shop, you know, like the um, polo shirts. <laughs> um, I was rocking Slazenger vest. And it just sort of skyballed from there really, where um, the more insecure I felt about it, the more I ate, the more I felt insecure, the more I ate, the, you know, and it was just that vicious cycle. Then I joined Weight Watchers. <laughs> oh, Weight Watchers made me fatter. And it, like I say, I just played that game of yo-yo dieting for years and years and years. Um, I lost a lot of weight when I turned... 25 I think it was I lost a lot of weight I lost about seven stone uh, but again I never learned anything because I did a fad diet and um, I went on shakes which I do not recommend to anyone and I lost a lot of weight really really quickly but I put it back on again and it was like the worst diet I've ever ever been on I was constantly thinking of food this has become like a diet talk rather than a makeup talk um then like I said, so I was still in the mindset of being fat and ugly. I was still in the mindset of hiding away from things. At this point, I'd like sort of broke away from all my friends because they got fed up with the cancelling all the time. Plus, they started to move on with their lives, have children, and I wasn't in that zone. Um, my job is really insular. I look after a disabled gentlemen um, on my own. So, my job is lonely. Well, it's not lonely. I love my job, and I'm saying I've got no one to talk to other than the guy I look after. And mentally, he's about a 12-year-old. So... Food was like my only friend, but then it was a friend that wasn't, you know, nice to me because it was then making me ill and fat and just wasn't nice. 
fast forward a few years and I, I don't actually remember what I was browsing on um, YouTube but I came across, I was watching whatever I was watching and the adverts came on and it was um, Helen Anders but she was called, what was it, Melon something or other? I can't remember what she was called, um, Helen Melon or she, she had a different name anyway back then, this is going back years and I remember watching her and I remember thinking wow she was just so confident but she was so quirky and she just she, she had this like energy that I like it just was amazing and she wasn't like a super skinny person or a super like model pretty type person I don't mean that in, in any disrespect I think she's a beautiful lady but she wasn't like the typical look that I'd always aspired to be and I started to watch her and I started to love her energy and her positivity and her like this is me love it so then after a lot this was 2014 this was like September time and then I kept umming and ahhing about oh could I do YouTube could I not do YouTube but I wasn't brave enough and then in the December I just decided you know what I'm gonna do a blog I'm gonna do a blog and I'm gonna talk about and I'm because I, I was gonna start a diet in January so I'm gonna do a blog let me just get this brow on. And the irony is, my makeup's probably going to be the shittest it's ever been because I'm having a heart to heart with you. Anyway, um, so I thought to myself, I'm going to start this blog um, documenting my weight loss journey, talking about how I'm feeling, um, things like that. And I'm also going to start um, playing with makeup. Up until this point, I could do the basics in makeup, like I could put a bit of mascara on and spot... Um, conceal and put a bit of powder on my face but I didn't really wear it because in my eyes because I was so fat and gross I had to hide away from the world and wearing makeup just brought attention to me if I wore makeup I was basically saying to people I think I'm beautiful and I should wear this when that's not how I felt and I didn't want people to think that I was confident about not like confidence is not the right word I didn't think want people to think that I actually liked the way I looked enough to like put makeup on it was a really really weird mindset so I thought to myself, right, I'll do this blog. And then I bought, thinking back now, I don't actually know if it was legit, but I bought an Urban Decay palette off eBay. At this time, I did not know about copies or anything like this. Um, so I don't know whether that palette ever was real because I don't have it anymore. But I bought this palette off eBay. It looked legit. So I bought this palette and I started to do makeup. And when I say, <laughs> the reason I do that is because I literally put a shade on my lid, like a shimmer and a little tiny bit of dark in this corner, but literally on my mobile lid. And as you know, I've got a hood. So when I open my eyes, you could never see anything anyway. So I started playing with makeup. Like I say, I bought that cheap palette from eBay. I bought some cheap brushes from eBay. I've actually still got one of them. Let me show you. It was a set like this. So really cheap, but they were all synthetic flat brushes, literally all different sizes of that. You couldn't blend with it. There were no blender brushes, but to be fair, I didn't even know what a blender brush was. And I was happy doing that. I wrote about it in my blog. I thought it was amazing. Um, I posted pictures on my blog. Again, again, I thought it was amazing. I'll try and insert a picture, um, but like, honestly, <laughs> yeah um and you know it, it went on from there and i think i had um a good year of playing with youtube started talking to other bloggers joined blogger t uh, chats on twitter and just started talking to people and started and stopped like hiding behind my insecurity and like you know i'm this fat and ugly sort of feeling i started talking to other people and it was lovely but at the same time kind of lonely because you were still just on social media um then i went to my first blogger event where i met some bloggers in real life and got to know them which was lovely um, and it sort of just sort of went on from there so for that first year I really enjoyed blogging I made sure I did it and 
then towards 2016 I started to slow down with the blog because I realised I wasn't that good at picture taking and blogging you, you need to be good at picture taking as well as the words it's all about the picture taking um, so then I decided oh should I start a channel it took me from January um, 2016 all the way to April before I plucked up the courage to post my per first video but I tried for those whole four months to start it but I could never get my courage up um, and that's when I then posted my first video but you can see how nervous I am let me just get it for you <sighs> oh I cringe when I look back at it oh I mean look I even did that <laughs> channel I'm Bex from the blog bluebex3.co.uk for those of you that are familiar with my blog you know that I'm attempting to lose weight at the moment so I thought I'd try YouTube as like an extra motivation to keep me on track because believe me there is nothing like seeing your fat face on a video to make you put down the chocolate bars just an FYI it's um, gonna follow the same <laughs> I will try and insert a proper clip but yeah I cringe when I look at that now because it's like oh it's so awkward I mean, I'm still awkward to this day, but I feel like I'm a little bit better than I was then. Anyway, um, I started and it was scary. The posting that first video was like the bravest thing I've ever done. And I then tried my first um, makeup tutorial and I look back and think, why did you do that, Becky? Um, and it just sort of went from there and it... it became something that I liked to do it became something that did help me because like I said in that video um I did want to do this to motivate myself to lose weight I've got this new brush called uh, by uh, still as it and it's the mini crease fluff so we're going to try this today these are uber pigmented shadows by the way not too much product anyway so um like I say I enjoyed it I liked um the process I liked posting things I actually really did think because I didn't understand about YouTube and I didn't understand how vast it was I did think I'd get this like YouTube fame and skyrocket um away I thought I was that amazing at makeup and I thought people would just love me it did not happen like that and the, the first like few months was like why is no one watching my videos am I not good enough um it took me a while to realize that um especially in beauty, it's such a saturated market and obviously wasn't that good. Um, but I carried on. So that was 2016. Then 2017, it was, so that was 2016 in like the middle bit. And then that carried on up until um, 2017, I kind of like slowed down so I'd do videos, I wouldn't do videos. I was not consistent at all and I was not organized with my time at all. 2018 was a really really bad year um I was I'd started to put on weight anyway in 2017 because I lost my weight and then I put weight on um so you probably can tell in my videos if you go far back I thought I was fat lost weight and then put weight on anyway um that made me insecure about coming back onto my channel so I sort of like hid away again and then um fast forward to 2018 um I lost my dog to cancer and little Mia was like you can see a picture behind me little Mia was um my baby I chose her as a puppy I'd cared for her paid a vet bill she was my dog it was my responsibility and it just broke me um if you followed me on Instagram or anything you know that I did a few insta stories where I was just heartbroken and I fell into a depression um really really bad like grief depression um and it was a really dark place and I wasn't even thinking of my channel. Um, took time, I eventually came out of it uh, with the help of my mum and I did a few videos but again I wasn't consistent, I wasn't um, really into it and the same happened when the new year came round. I thought to myself right 2019 I'm going to make a big push for it and again I was really lackadaisical, I was really not organized with my time and then um i have put on weight again i am like losing weight but now i'm losing weight just in i'm eating healthily i'm drinking more water and 
as she says. And it'll drop off when it drops off. I'm not following a set plan. Lost my train of thought now. Yeah, so that's really basically what 2019 was. And then, um, I don't know if you follow makeup, you'll know that um, ABH, um, see, like the daughter of um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Norvina started doing a PR search and she was looking for smaller influencers or basically people of talent, don't matter what following. And I got sucked into the hype of that and it sort of opened my eyes to the the world that we live in and I started to get really bogged down with numbers and popularity and stuff like that when don't get me wrong a lot of the people that have been added to that list are really talented but I think a lot of it is to do with time and look and um in some cases the ability to photoshop and that was a bit I know but anyway um it kind of knocked my confidence for a bit um because I just I'm not one of those naturally popular people I will talk to anyone I will, it doesn't matter what, like, social, um, like, what's the word, social, like, level you're on, you can be the most popular person to the geek, I will talk to you regardless, I, I was never in a group like that, I was just normal, um, I could talk to anyone, um, and I'm still like that now, I sort of flip from everyone, so... I don't really have people that stand me, I hate that word, but yeah. And it showed because when you go in for big things like that, you need people to push you to be seen in the limelight. And I just didn't have that, but uh, whatever. And I kind of lost my confidence for a bit. And then I thought to myself, I'm not doing this for the numbers. I am not doing this so that I can say I've got thousands and thousands of subscribers and stuff like that. I'm doing this because I need something to entertain myself that's not a bar of chocolate as well something that i find fun that's just for me like reading a book and that is why i have a channel it makes me happy it makes me feel good it makes me um connect with other people i have because i've opened myself up this year i've like met so many people through my channel that are actually really really nice people and they're not there just to be fans or anything like that they're just nice people um i don't think this story is going to make any sense because i've kind of gone off in a tangent but my point was um i kind of lost my way a bit and this three years has been like a really 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 weird weird um time but this made up in may kind of saved me again and um, it made me realize that it doesn't matter that you don't get picked for a pr list or have thousands and thousands of followers or people um retweeting you it doesn't matter if you've got one person that gets something from your videos that is the main thing and knowing that someone enjoys my content enjoys my waffle is worth all the PR packages in the world to me, honestly. I've got so much makeup, I don't need PR packages. Um, because that's another thing I did. I spent far, far too much money on makeup. I kind of went into like a FOMO phase where it was like, if it was new, I had to have it. If it was shiny, I had to have it. Anything, I just had to have it. Um, which is ridiculous because you do not need that much. Um, you should see my uh, um, collection. A lot of it I've condensed down, but it's still far too big. Um, which then takes me, moving on again, to Made Up In May. I knew my channel's third birthday was coming up. And I knew that I actually wanted to celebrate it this year because I didn't really do anything um, the last few times. I just, it sort of never became anything. Um, and this year I finally hit a thousand subscribers on here. Like I say, I don't think that's the be all and end all, but it was nice to hit that number. I thought to myself, do you know what? I want to do something big like for me yeah so i thought to myself right i'm gonna to plan to do a video every day in may to celebrate my birthday channel birthday it's also my birthday in june so that's like a celebration at the end of doing all this and it kind of proved to myself that i can do this i can get content out because i'm very um i've been very like what's the word procrastinator that's not even a word i know but i I needed to prove to myself that I could do it. Oh, I can't concentrate when I do two things at once. Um, so I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it. So I said, I was explaining this to my mum. I was saying, I want to do a video every day in May 
uh, to celebrate my channel's birthday. <sighs> I'm just not sure what do you think do you think it's a good idea and she said to me she said yeah I think it is a good idea she said I think it's a great idea this was in um the sort of the March time of this year so I said to her I said right I'll plan to do it I think I'll um make some um like time in April to pre-film some videos and then I can do some in May as well so it's not like intense and we'll do that um fast forward to April I procrastinated again, I didn't do anything, then my brother had a major house fire which like was devastating and he lost everything and I thought to myself, it was just before it was coming up to me, I thought to myself there's just no way with everything that's going on at home I can do this, um, I will literally have to film a video and edit it every single day, like each video that you've seen me do I filmed in the morning, edited throughout the day and then posted at night and um, that's how much I like dedicated myself to this certain uh, series and I'm not saying that like I should get you know an award for it or anything I'm just saying that's what I've had to do so I said this to my mum and she said no she said you're not letting an excuse like that stop you from doing something she said it's not your fire she said yeah it's sad and everything but they're fine now they, they, you know they've got somewhere to live they, they're getting um things donated that you know they can restart it's people that matter and the, his children like my brother's children are fine and she was right. Why was it, I wasn't actually going to be much help to my brother at this time, other than like the initial time. After that, that's up to him to sort things out. So I thought, yeah, you're right. So I filmed a video of a makeup look, and then I filmed a quick like surprise announcement video. And I knew as soon as I posted that surprise announcement video, I did not want to let anyone down. Um, not saying that loads of people watch me, but I didn't want to let the people that did watch me down by sort of making excuses saying oh I've not got a video today because of this this and this um so it was kind of like the biggest commitment of my channel that I've ever done I knew it was going to be a big commitment um so I posted that video um I let people know that's what I was doing and we're on day 20 and I've posted a video even on days where I've had technical difficulties um, and on one I lost footage so I, um, sorry I've got some in my eye, I lost footage so I used footage that I actually found on an old SD card and I used that to put a video up, it wasn't the best and it was like old style of filming but I got it up, I got a video up and the point of my like little waffle all this time was to say I am so proud of myself and I've not done this, like I say, for popularity, I've not done this for freebies, I've not done this for anything other than to celebrate an achievement of having this channel. Um, and, you know, honestly, I feel great. I love that I've stuck to it. I love, I, I've proven to myself that I can do it. I have got no excuses now not to film videos after this. Um... There is literally no reason why I can't film a video after this. So I think the point that I wanted to make more than anything is that I know I can do this now. I know that I enjoy it and I, I found a different style for myself. I know this one is going to be hella long but I found a different style for myself that I think works for me and I'm just like really really proud of myself. I've not done this for views. I don't hardly get any views and I don't care. I do this because it's therapeutic to me. I love makeup, I love playing with makeup and I love interacting with the people that do support me constantly day in day out. So that's basically just what I wanted to say about why I started and what's going forward. Um, once this series is over I am going to post twice a week. Um, hopefully it'll be it'll either be two makeup looks or it'll be a makeup look and like a test in the foundation or a lash try on or whatever series i've got it'll be something like that but once a week will definitely be a tutorial type thing um the rest might be like testing products or things like that and my mum said why don't you do it on a monday so it's called makeup mondays what do you think to that is that a bit cheesy um let me know down below and um i think that's a good amount you might get three videos one week it just depends how i feel but yeah i think two videos a week is uh, good um i'm gonna go in with a glitter by the way this is a glam and co glitter just in the center so that's my little thing about why i started i hope it all made sense because to be honest i don't actually know what i've said at this point um i just wanted to sort of explain why i started the things in the middle and going forward what you can expect from me 
um, I think it's going to be good. Um, I like I say, I'm not going to be um, doing like the major hauls or um, like silly challenge videos. I literally just want to play with makeup, and because I'm on a no buy thing. No, it's only buying like what I need as opposed to what I want, like FOMO and all that. Um, it is going to be looking at um, like shop my stash type videos. I also want to do where like I think like once a month I have a week where I post videos um, using the same palette. I was thinking like once a month but I thought it might be a bit um, boring that but um, I'll see how I like how I like can work it anyway. Um, but yeah that's kind of like where my where, where my brain's at at the moment. I'm also thinking of doing a blending 101 type video. I know there's loads on YouTube and there's people that are far better at makeup than me that are doing it, but I just figured I'd show you what I do. Might help someone. It's really funny, but I actually was gonna do like balloons and like a big three um, in the background and I was gonna do um, my hair all nice and things like that. And I thought, do you know what? No, just get on camera, Becky and say happy birthday to yourself. So I'm just gonna do my under eye. And um, by the way, I got this Stelazi brush because I um, watched a YouTube channel called Agape Love Girl. I will link her down below, she's called Maria and she's lovely. And she's just so pretty. Um, well, that's like the wrong word, she's beautiful. Anyway, um, I had to try it when I saw her using it and I'm really glad I did. It is from America, um, which is quite affordable. I wanted to speak to, about some, speak to you about something else as well. I'm just going to use the Mary Luminizer to highlight the inner corner. I love this look, I think it's pretty. Right, I'm just going to go do the other eye and then I will come back to talk to you while I do my face. It took me ages to do that eye. I cannot see. I was also thinking of doing a series um, where I um, recreate people's looks, whether that's a celebrity, whether that's a other content creator, whether that's um, even one of my looks or like one of your looks if you want to send it to me. Um, what do you think? Do you think that sounds like um, a good idea or not? Uh, I just thought it might be fun to do. Mainly because, like one, it's that well, like doing looks. I mean half the time with my looks it's just what I think of at the time. I don't really get inspiration from um, like other people as so the look that I did yesterday that was a recreation and it was fun it was fun to like do my spin on it um and I watched Jacqueline Hill's new video latest video on how to make your foundation last all day instantly I'm gonna have to try her tip see if that works and um I loved the eye look she had on it was so simple but so pretty and I was thinking oh I want to recreate that and then that's what made me think oh maybe I should do it as a series and I'll try on my channel as well to um, use more drugstore products or like try more drugstore products because I know like a lot of my collection some of it is quite high end um, and whilst I can't buy as much high end anymore I have obviously still got it in my collection so I am going to start um, trying to incorporate more drugstore stuff it's not because I'm like a snob or anything it's just that that's how it happened that that's what I've got left. Well, I've just totally ruined my brow. Gah! Um, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in, by the way. And I will make sure to include it in the list of things to do. And uh, while we're on the subject of videos, how have you been enjoying this series? How's it been for you, the viewer? And another thing as well, the videos that I do or I've done like a few where it's just been of the eye look, how do you feel about those? Because I'm thinking that a few times I am going to do it like that because sometimes I just don't want to put a full face of makeup on. I know that sounds random, but sometimes you just don't want to, but I've got an idea for an eye look. So I'm thinking like um, on those days I can just film the eye. I know there's a few YouTubers that do do that. Um, would that annoy you on this channel would it not annoy you i know i've got away with it on this series just because of the level of content i'm pushing out but would that be something that would annoy you or i don't know it's just that i actually don't mind just style looks i think they're nice to watch and i obviously will explain what i'm doing still 
Um, but I just thought it'd be an idea. Don't do what I just did. Got it all in my eyeshadow. <laughs> I've messed up my eyeshadow here, but I am gonna buff it out, so don't worry. Do not panic. Oh, and another thing that I was really excited for this year as well is I got my own discount code with Spectrum Brushes. Now, it's not an affiliate. I have mentioned this loads of times, but I have to just like reiterate it because I don't want people thinking, oh, you're just doing it to get money. I do get nothing from it. In fact, I'm worse off with this code than I was in my with my referral link. With my referral link, I got points, whereas with this code, I don't get anything other than the knowledge that someone has used my code. I don't think I'd actually ever find out if anyone's used my code, unless I ask. But I wouldn't want to do that because I wouldn't want the embarrassment of saying actually no one's used it. <laughs> Boy, she's so pretty. So pretty. So pretty. That took me far too long to get those lashes on. So that is the finished look. Um, I realise that this um, little chat that we've had today is all over the place and I've not spoke about half the things I wanted to speak about but I got it off my chest, what I did get off my chest. Um, going forward, like I say, I am going to do two videos a week. I am also going to, um, if I do extra it will be the minimum of two basically uh, but I'm not like confirming I'm doing three because I just think long term I just won't be able to keep up to it. Um, it is going to be very much about what I've got in my collection right now, very much reusing what I've got, finding different ways for it, um, maybe the odd um, drugstore haul, um, you know, to try products out because I really do want to try that B by Superdrug. Um, and I've also got some points on my boots card so for my birthday I am going to spend them on Fenty so I probably will do a video on that. Um, I'm not getting the foundation because I don't like a super matte foundation, but I think I'm going to get like the bronzers, maybe a highlight, a lipstick, or whatever. Yeah, that's it really. Um, this is me. This is... This is it. I don't edit, by the way. Um, I have never edited my pictures. And when I say edit, I mean more of the smoothing and tweaking of features. Um, every now and again, I might take a picture that's a bit too dark and I'll change the brightness of it, um, which is classed as editing. So I will do that. I just don't smooth anything because I've got old features. You know, I've got wrinkles under my eyes. I've got um, bags. I've got texture. I'm not going to hide that. So if I, the way I feel is if I like smooth those out to look good on the gram and then someone met me in real life they'd be like oh you don't look like your pictures um, not that I think that about other people but I always think that people are going to think that about me I don't know it's just really odd how I think um that was it really so I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for joining me on my third birthday I had to count my fingers then third birthday um it's been exciting and I love this look uh, I think it's a really good look so um let me know, oh, I was gonna say let me know. Let me know what you think down below. Big thumbs up, do it because it's my birthday, even if you don't like this video. And hit that subscribe button, that'd be a perfect present. Um, and I will see you tomorrow in another Made Up In May. Bye guys.